guys, we are going to be making Parker on the Porch's pumpkin banner piece. So we're going to get started. I have regular tearaway on my 5x7 hoop. And we are going to do step one, which is to do the placement stitch for the pumpkin. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll come back and show you what it looks okay, like. That's what your placement stitch looks like. Now you need to get um, vinyl or you need to get fabric or you need to get... Um, whatever you want to use for your pumpkin. I'm going to use this Geo Peachy Orange. It's a really light orange. It's hard to see with my camera. Um, this is Geo Vinyl and I got it at mypunkbroidery.com. So I'm going to go ahead and put it down. Make sure you have a big enough piece to cover all your placement stitches. And then you're going to go ahead and stitch step two, which are going to be the pumpkin lines. I'm going to use purple for that, but change your thread to whatever color you like. And I will come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, there are our lines. Now the next step is going to be the placement stitches for the face, the eyes and the mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in black and I will come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, there's your placement lines for the face. Now we're going to applique those. So I'm going to take this just glittery thin canvas vinyl and I'm going to make sure that it covers all of those placement stitches. And I'm going to go ahead and stitch step four, which is going to tack that down. So I will show you what that looks like when I'm done. Okay, this is what it looks like. It went ahead and tacked it down on there. Now we are going to cut with applique scissors as close as we can around these stitches. These these scissors are invaluable when it comes to appliqueing. It gets you really close to the stitches without cutting them. Okay. So I am just going to cut around all these and I'm going to cut through here so it separates them. Okay, now I have that off. in these little teeth right here. Okay. Okay, now I just have to finish the eyes. Now I'm going to take some extra time. We cut around all of it. I'm going to take some extra time to get as close as I can and get it really clean. Um, the next step is going to be a satin stitch that's going to go around all of these eyes and the mouth and everything. And you want to make sure that you're close enough to these stitches that the satin, that this final excess won't show on the other side of that satin stitch. So the only way to do that is to get this as close as you can without cutting the stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that and then I will meet you back at the machine to show you the next step. Okay guys, I got it cut real close to the stitches. The next step is step five and it's going to go ahead and do those satin stitches. I'm going to keep my thread black and I'm going to go ahead and run that and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay guys, this is what it looks like. There's the satin stitches that one around the mouth and the eyes. Now it's going to go ahead and do the fill stitch of the pumpkin um, stem. So I'm going to do that this really bright green. I'm going to go ahead and stitch that. So stitch step six and I'll come back and show you what mine looks like. Okay guys, that's what the stem looks like. Now the next step is step seven and it's going to do these two little outer lines. That's going to be the outside of your pumpkin. So I use purple in the middle. I'm going to use purple for the whole outside as well. So whatever color you want your outline stitch to be, go ahead and put that thread color in because that's what color you're going to need for this step. And the purpose of this step is you're going to have um, little openings in between the front and the back of your pumpkin so you can run ribbon or whatever you're hanging this banner with. And this is going to stitch 
um, the front part so it looks complete but the back part's gonna have that open. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the purple and I will stitch that and I will come back and show you what it looks okay, like. Guys, there's those stitch lines on the side. Now we need to take it off of our hoop and we need to flip it over because now it is time to put our back on. I'm gonna just use black felt. Just make sure you have a big enough piece that covers the entire stitch lines. Okay, and then I'm gonna tape it I'm just doing regular scotch tape. I know a lot of there's a lot of people that use the like the blue painters tape. That works too. Okay. Now that you have that all on your back, you're going to put it back on your hoop and you are going to run your last step, which is step 8. And you can see it's going to run all the way around skipping these two little areas because that's where you're going to run your ribbon from behind. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stitch that and I will come back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, this is what the pumpkin looks like. It's super cute. My back looks like this. Set it up a little bit more. There you go. You can see right here there's no stitching that goes across this, so your ribbon can go through. It's going to keep a hole there and there, and that's why it does those two lines on the front. So the front looks complete, but you still have the opening from the back. So we are done, so go ahead and take it off of your hoop. I'm going to take all the stabilizer off, all the tape off. I'm going to use um, these scissors. They're just sharp, short scissors. I have a couple different kind of short scissors I use. And I am going to just cut around this design. I'm going to try to get close to the stitches because I tend to be more consistent when I'm close to the stitches. So I'm just going to cut all the way around. And when you get to a corner edge like this right here, I pull my scissors back and put the tip where I want it to end without cutting the stitches and I cut one spot so I'm not, that just keeps me from cutting the stitches. Okay, so I'm going to go around here. Again, I'm going to get close and then I'm going to put the tip of my stitch scissors there and just do one cut so I don't cut the stitches. I feel like you guys might get bored watching me cut, but a lot of people ask how do you get good at cutting, so I just leave it rolling. Sorry if you're one of the people that get bored by this part. <laughs> Almost done. Okay. We are done with the cutting and look how cute this pumpkin turned out to be. Okay guys, we have the bat. I made two bats, but you have a bat, a ghost, and a pumpkin. And the way that I'm going to go ahead and put these together I can put the ghost in the middle. I went ahead and taped my ribbon onto the end of just a dowel stick, something long. And you're going to go back here and you're going to open the hole. And you're just going to push it through. And then I'm going to get the next thing. And I'm going to open the hole and push it through. And I'm going to do the same for the third, the pumpkin. I'm just going to push it through. And I actually have a fourth one. I made a, a girl bat too. It's the same file. I just used girl colors. And I'm going to push it through. And so now I have the ribbon through. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this out. And you can see now they're all attached like in a banner. And now you can go put it in a banner. 
It's super cute, super fun. Hope you enjoyed this video.